Hi guys, my name is Megan and welcome to this Gemini reading for the month of November. So we're going to get right in here and see what overall card wants to come forward or what overall energy wants to come forward for Gemini for November. Okay, so we have library, take control of your own narrative. All right, so we're going to get a little message from the book. Someone else is trying to call the shots in your life. They think they can waltz in and control your every move, and you need to say no to their manipulation. It might seem tempting to relinquish control, but if you give someone else power over your narrative, chaos will ensue, and it will be all in their favor, not yours. The stories inside of you make you a library of the verge of bursting, but only if you're the one to pick up the pen. Okay, so that's pretty heavy message. And then also I want to pinpoint that this card is the number 22, and the number 22 is all about... It's a message that you are about to experience a significant change in your life or a new beginning. So a new change, a significant change is on the horizon for you guys. All right. Gemini, November. Okay. All right. We have Moonlight Enchantment Magic. Yeah, so magic is about to happen in your life in November, you guys. Um the wolf spirit is coming forward to help you. This is like an animal totem that's helping you in November. In I can't even talk. In November. So be on the lookout for the wolf. Um, you may start getting synchronicities with the wolf energy um, coming in November. And that's just a message, a reminder that magic is about to unfold in your life. So if you see wolves on TV, if you get pictures of wolves, um, just any which way or, you know, words saying wolf, that's what I'm talking about. Bear healing, another animal totem coming forward in November to help you guys. And the bear, um, I believe, is actually, let me look this up really quick. Okay, yeah, so... The bear represents courage to evolve and the ability to be open-minded. So the bear is coming to help you with being open-minded and to help you heal certain aspects that need to be healed in November so that you can, you know, create this new chapter for yourself. Yeah, Spirit Guardian of Spring Activation. So there is, when you heal yourself, certain... Um, emotions come up for healing. You are calling back certain fragmented pieces of your soul, and then you become more activated and awakened spiritually. So, the more of your soul being, your soul essence that gets integrated into your body, the more awakened, the more light you hold within your um, your physical body. So, you guys are being activated through whatever you're going through in November. And this could be an initiation period that's very challenging for you that then triggers an activation or awakening. Like um, I'm kind of feeling like a dark night of the soul that then gets triggered into a spiritual awakening or vice versa, a spiritual awakening that then triggers a dark night of the soul. But all of it is for your healing, for your benefit, and to create magic in your life. Um, Spirit is helping you through this, and this could be spiritual gifts being activated in November through this, whatever you're going through. So psychic gifts coming online.
be spirit prosperity. Yeah, so you guys are, spirit is helping to open up your heart chakra to help you bloom, blossom, awaken more of your gifts. Um, when you open your heart chakra and you allow more light in, more love in, it activates your spirit and it allows more, you know, of your DNA to become activated because your vibration is then changing to a higher one. And when your vibration changes, then certain things get activated. So we have dormant DNA, but the DNA within our um, physical body that's dormant gets activated when we reach certain levels of consciousness and vibration. And you guys are about to awaken another aspect of yourself that's been asleep for a very long time. So spirit is coming in with this you know, energy of prosperity. Um, so it could be, you know, also your finances start improving in November and, you know, just this energy of prosperity to awaken you to more of who you truly are, like the magic within. All right, let's get some tarot for clarity. Gemini, November. Okay, so we have three of swords under prosperity. So for those of you who have been struggling um, with health issues, with finances, that is about to shift and change in your favor. Um, that energy is changing in November. It may not show up physically yet, but the energy from the ethers is coming in to shift and change that vibration in your field to help you be more abundant mindset instead of lack mentality mindset. So starting to think about your thoughts and words and how you've been creating an energy of lack in your life and shift it and start thinking about how you can awaken prosperity back into your life through your thoughts and your words. So saying affirmations like, I have more than enough. I am healed. I am loved. I am abundant. I am safe. All of these affirmations, fake it till you make it. That's what Spirit always says. Say it until you actually believe it. Um, and anytime you have a contradictory energy coming up, you know, deal with it, release the emotions that are coming up for you, feel it to heal it, but then shift your vibration out of that. Don't sit in it for too long. If you start to feel sad or down or depressed, shift it into a gratitude energy by focusing on what you have in your life. That's great. That's, you know, amazing. It could be the food in your belly. It could be the bed you rest your head on. It could be the warmth you feel in your home. Um, you know, like physical warmth. Some people in the world don't have heaters and stuff like that. So, you know, how can you shift your energy into gratitude in November is going to be very helpful for you because this this is also a cautionary message too that when we sit with negative energy or emotions for too long and we don't face them or look at them or heal them, they turn into physical ailments. So there's a message here to be cautious with that and um, start really focusing on be consciously aware of what you're consciously creating in your reality. All right, through your thoughts and words, obviously, in your emotions. All right, so we have apathy here, boredom with the Four of Cups. So you have this under activation. So this is you being bored. This is you being unfulfilled in life. And then all of a sudden, boom, spirit comes in with a gift for you. Like, hey, we are activating something within you, a psychic gift, or we are activating prosperity within you, or we are activating, you know, something within here. We're giving you something, you know, to to move you into a higher level, um, to give magic back into your life, to make you feel more fulfilled in life. And we have Knight of Pentacles under library, take control of your own narrative. So yeah, it's about starting to plant the seeds in November. 
what seeds are you trying to water and manifest in November? Be very cautious with that. If you are watering seeds that are not beneficial for you in the future, you need to cut that. Let those crops die, pull those weeds out, and start to only give water and attention, love, care, and nurturing energy to the seeds, the crops of you know what you want to see manifest in your life. You know, if you have seeds that you've planted of lack, you need to uproot those and remove them. If you have seeds planted of love and prosperity and all that, keep nurturing that, keep you know, focusing your, your energy on it, or um, this also plays into, you know, a physical way of what is physically needing to be uprooted or de-weeded from your physical garden. So what foods can you get rid of and start giving your body more healthy foods? What addictions can you let go of? What people or situations or physical things in your home can you let go of that has a lower vibrational energy or a toxic energy that's not beneficial to your future, um, that's taking your power. So it's about giving your power back to yourself and nurturing the seeds that you want to see come to fruition or to stay in your garden. And then we have the five of wands under magic. So this has been very challenging for you. It could be also challenging for you in November, but not to worry because this battle energy that's going on in the world and also within you, it's about stopping the battle, stopping the fight, and just being still. When you come to stillness, then you connect to your higher self and your angels and your guides, and they can infiltrate messages in the calm, still, peaceful mind. When your mind is chaotic and you're in this energy, they can't reach you. It's kind of like when you try talking to two people that are fighting, no one, hear, no one hears anyone trying to talk to them, right? Because they're so focused on the battle. But when people pause and calm down and, you know, all of that, then people are able to reach them and be like, hey, you know, let's not fight each other right now. So this is an internal battle is what it feels like going on within you between your head and your heart. So what in your life is causing this battle? And to really look at it, and again, it goes back to what crops are you nurturing? If they're not good for you, if they're toxic, if there's certain people that need to get the boot in your life or certain situations, addictions, whatever it may be that's causing this disharmony within your spiritual body, it needs to go. And when you do that, you're literally recreating magic back in your life when you have the power, the courage to do that. And this is um, High Priestess going under healing. So this intuition coming within this magic coming within that's being sparked and activated within you is helping to heal your spirit even more you're gonna have healing happening in november by getting rid of all of this turmoil that's not good for you and then you have more intuition coming online more third eye awakenings more heart chakra openings and then more of your energy gets activated and you can have you know like your psychic gifts starting to come online or deepen, you know, your gifts will deepen and you will have more, um, they will be more intense, so to speak. So those are the messages I have for you guys. I'm sending you so much positive energy. If this resonated, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing, and I'll see you in another video. Bye guys.